Hi, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for being here as we bring you another lineup of films that pay tribute to our star of the month, Olivia de Havilland. We begin with a film released by 20th Century Fox in 1952 called My Cousin Rachel. It's based on a book by Daphne du Maurier, and like many of her stories, My Cousin Rachel has an element of mystery to it. The story centers on a young man named Philip Ashley and his wealthy cousin, Ambrose Ashley. When Ambrose leaves England to go to Italy for his health, he meets a widow named Rachel, and the two soon marry. But Ambrose begins writing letters to Philip, and the letters suggest that Rachel may be poisoning him. Philip starts investigating the situation, and when he meets his cousin's widow, he discovers he too is taken with her beauty. Olivia de Havilland was 36 years old when she accepted the role of Rachel for this film, and even though some thought she was a bit too old for the part, she plays it effectively with a gentle, innocent persona, which only adds to the story's mystery. The actor playing Philip holds his own opposite such a pro as Olivia de Havilland. Making his Hollywood debut, it's Richard Burton. At this point, he had appeared in only a handful of British productions, but he was virtually unknown to American audiences. But he certainly made quite an impression, earning a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination for his performance, the first of seven Oscar nominations during his career. Have a look. Directed by Henry Coster from 1952, My Cousin Rachel.